How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Forza Horizon 5 is incredibly broken right now for a certain group of people, which is quite strange. We're going to talk about it in this video, what exactly is going on with all of these people having major issues with Forza Horizon 5 and when we can hopefully expect to see the game put up to a good standard, a working standard which it definitely should be by now, especially after having a big update just a few days ago. And the game is now even more broken for quite a lot of people. Let's talk about it. Now, what exactly is happening? Now, the release of Forza Horizon 5 a month ago, about exactly, went quite smoothly. There weren't any major issues. There weren't any major. However, within the last couple of weeks, there's been multiplayer issues just sort of arising, convoy issues, connection issues, you know, little things like that. The game wasn't running quite right well a couple of days ago we got a massive update with a bunch of new cars new features and a ton of fixes they fixed accolades they fixed the convoys or at least improved them just a bunch of fixes now I did a video on this update as it was released I read through the patch notes I didn't have enough time to play the game much myself before I did the video however now I've played the update for a day or so myself is quite buggy. If you are having any issues like myself, let me know in the comment section below what exact issues you're having, just very brief, and then what console you're on, whether you're on Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One X or PC. Let me know in the comment section below if you're having no issues whatsoever, loads of issues, what they are and what console you're on. Because what I'm going to talk about later, it seems like the issues are only happening with a certain bunch of people. So let's see exactly where these issues are and who's getting them the most and what the main serious ones are. Many people are finding that the game actually runs a lot worse, almost unplayable after this update. And it's not just a certain bunch of people, it's a lot of people having issues with the game after this bug fix update. And the weird thing is people are having issues with things that weren't originally an issue. The main issues used to be the convoys, the connection issues, being invisible to other players, hackers and cheaters and stuff like that. Now, while some of them are still issues, bigger issues have now arrived. Infinite loading screens, which just do not load. You have to restart your game. Black screens when leaving the auto show and festival. Controller inputs just stop working and you have to restart your game. Just infinite loading screens and issues that force you to have to reboot the game, which may not seem like a massive issue if it fixes itself when you reboot it, but you shouldn't have to do that. And it is happening so frequently to the point where big YouTubers such as Joe, which I'm sure you've all heard of, made a thread on Twitter just explaining his thoughts and how it's really broken and unplayable to him. And quite a lot of the replies are agreeing with him and having the same experience. With a release like Forza Horizon 5, which had apparently over 10 million players within the first month, which is one of their records, we've got to expect some issues with a game that absolutely smashes records with 10 million players. There's going to be some connection issues, the servers are going to struggle a bit, but to this level, which the issues don't all seem to be like server related, multiplayer related, it's, it's a bit disappointing. Now when you look into this further, it actually seems like quite a lot of the issues are coming from the newer consoles, specifically Xbox Series S and X players. I'm playing on an Xbox Series X and my housemate is as well, and we are both having the exact same issues of infinite loading screens, not loading out of the festival, just all sorts of issues that just force you to restart the game over and over again, and convoys just aren't right with us either and we're on the same internet connection. And quite a lot of the people that you see about on Twitter and Reddit and just everyone addressing these issues seem to mostly be on the Xbox Series S or X. It's quite interesting to see that a lot of people that aren't having issues and are actually having a very smooth experience with Forza Horizon 5 are playing on PC. So I suppose there is a good thing about this is it's not for everyone. Not everybody is having these major issues. Just what it seems to be Xbox players. Now obviously when we're having issues like this we want to fix them as quick as possible. We want to see them fixed so we can enjoy playing Forza Horizon 5. Now what can we do about that? What can we expect? Well the update we just had which supposedly fixed a lot of things which in fairness it did fix a lot of things but new issues arised. They were pretty quick to give us an update of that size. Not only did the update include all of the fixes it included quite a lot of additions as well which is good but it is interesting to see how quickly they did address quite a lot of the issues. Now it is the weekend at the moment, which means we probably won't hear anything from Playground Games, but 
Hopefully next week we will hear something from them about the new issues which have now arisen and hopefully a rough timeline of when to expect, hopefully a hotfix fixing these really you know, quite annoying big issues. In the meantime, there's a few things we could do to speed it up and just hopefully help out with these issues. Now, as I said earlier in the comment section, let me know which issues you are having and what console you're on, because as I said, what it seems like is quite a lot of the issues are coming from Xbox Series X owners and Xbox Series X, not so much on PC. And to fix things as quick as possible, even just small details can help out and speed up the process. So if you are having any issues whatsoever, with Fox 2005, let Playground Games know. Opening a ticket, just let them know. Make your voice heard that you're having this amount of issues on this console. And it might just speed it up a little bit so they can see the severity of it. And if they see similarities in these issues, it might help them speed up a bit. And while we don't want to bombard Playground Games and annoy them, we're within our rights to make our voice heard about the issues we're having and just give them a few specifics just to help them out. I can see why people are frustrated, I'm frustrated, but what can we do? We've got to help out where we can and we've got to live with it. We know it's eventually going to be fixed, that's a fact, it's not going to be broken forever. Playroom games have always been good at fixing things, it's just, it's disappointing to see so many issues arising while other ones are being fixed, just in a constant loop since release. Now I'm not defending Playground Games but I'm also not talking rubbish on them. Yes it's very disappointing to see so many issues that we just really want to be fixed but we have to understand that there's processes involved with fixing things, finding the issues, actually fixing them, testing them, putting them in an update, there's a lot to it and they'll have certain teams assigned to each sort of section. They'll have teams for fixing stuff, they'll have teams for giving us the new cars, they're separate groups of people. So while it's very easy to be frustrated, as I said, I am, what can we do about it? There's no point whinging about it, we've just got to step back, it is what it is, and actually do what we can to help out and try and make a bit of a difference. Let them know exactly what issues you're having, how they're happening, what console you're on, how often it happens. Just be specific and let them know. Let's do our part and try to help out where we can hopefully that helps them and fingers crossed this will be the last bunch of major issues we come across within Fox 2005 after these get fixed which hopefully would be within the next couple of weeks I would expect let's have a discussion in the comment section exactly what's going on and seeing you know how many people it's happening to because from what it seems like it's a lot now very quickly one of the main things people are having issues with is the convoys with your mates now now I've been having that issue a lot and I've actually found a way to make convoys work a lot better. Let's say you're in a convoy with your mates and none of them have loaded in, they've not showed up. Get one of them to not only leave the convoy, but click the pause button and go to online and then go to Horizon Solo. Make sure they go back to Horizon Solo and while they're in Horizon Solo, invite them. Not only will it force them into an online lobby, which should be the same as yours, it will force them back into the convoy. This seems to work quite a lot for me and my friends. Leaving and joining the convoy doesn't always work, but if you force them back to Horizon Solo and then join the invite from Solo, that seems to work a little bit better. That's just a little bit of a tip. We shouldn't have to do that, as I said, it's still broken, but it sometimes is a workaround. If you're trying to do Horizon Arcades with your mates, that sometimes helps out. Let me know if that works. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to sort of talk about this since I've been so many people talking rubbish on YouTubers for complaining about the game, but let's do what we can and just, it is what it is. As I said, guys, let me know in the comments submission below what your thoughts are and what issues you're having and what's going on within your experience. Leave a like if you enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. I'll see you all later.